Welcome, my friends. Are banks a good investment? Well, it depends on who you ask. What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. And, before we continue, a word from the sponsor of this video. Today's sponsor is InnerLife.com, creator of the InnerLife STS system. InnerLife STS is a cloud mobile platform for mental health care and its integration with primary medical care. InnerLife STS is designed for assessment, data collection and analytics, documentation, and progress tracking. InnerLife STS creates and composes conceptualized narratives and builds them into professional-grade reports. These reports are designed for use by mental health professionals, primary care physicians, justice system professionals and universities and include mental health assessment reports, mental health treatment reports, and treatment progress reports. An InnerLife STS uses doctor-selected pseudonames for all patients. So, only the doctor knows the patient identity. Warren Buffett on Saturday said Berkshire Hathaway is cautious around the banking sector, largely because of poor messaging by officials around government-insured deposits, as well as distorted incentives he said were brought on by banking regulation. A crisis of confidence in the U.S. banking sector has led to the failure of three mid-sized banks since March as depositors fled from smaller banks, with calls for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corp., FDIC, to raise its $250,000 limit guarantee on deposits. The messaging by politicians, government agencies and the media around the safety of the banking system has been poor, the nonagenarian billionaire said at Berkshire's annual meeting in Omaha, Nebraska. The U.S. government and the American public have no interest in having a bank fail and having deposits actually lost by people, he said. We had a demonstration project the weekend of Silicon Valley Bank and the public is still confused. In March, startup-focused lender SVB Financial Group, SIVB, O, became the largest bank to fail since the 2008 financial crisis after depositors tried to pull more than $42 billion in a single day, kicking off the deposit flight across other regional banks and prompting the collapse of Signature Bank. While 89% of SVB's $175 billion in deposits were uninsured as of the end of 2022, according to the FDIC, depositors were protected, even those whose accounts exceeded $250,000 through a systemic risk exception, designed to prevent broader contagion to the U.S. banking system. Berkshire keeps around $128 billion in cash and treasury bills, Buffett said. We want to be there if the banking system temporarily even gets stalled in some way, it shouldn't. I don't think it will, but I think it could, he said. Part of the reason for that is that incentives in banking regulation are so messed up, he said. First Republic Bank, the latest regional U.S. bank to fail, disclosed that it was offering non-guaranteed jumbo-sized mortgages at fixed rates in its annual report. Warren Buffett on Saturday said Berkshire Hathaway is cautious around the banking sector, largely because of poor messaging by officials around government-insured deposits, as well as distorted incentives he said were brought on by banking regulation. A crisis of confidence in the U.S. banking sector has led to the failure of three mid-sized banks since March as depositors fled from smaller banks, with calls for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corp., FDIC, to raise its $250,000 limit guarantee on deposits. The messaging by politicians, government agencies and the media around the safety of the banking system has been poor, the nonagenarian billionaire said at Berkshire's annual meeting in Omaha, Nebraska. The U.S. government and the American public have no interest in having a bank fail and having deposits actually lost by people, he said. We had a demonstration project the weekend of Silicon Valley Bank and the public is still confused. In March, Startup-focused lender SVB Financial Group, SIVB, O, became the largest bank to fail since the 2008 financial crisis after depositors tried to pull more than $42 billion in a single day, kicking off the deposit flight across other regional banks and prompting the collapse of Signature Bank. While 89% of SVB's $175 billion in deposits were uninsured as of the end of 2022, according to the FDIC, depositors were protected even those whose accounts exceeded $250,000, through a systemic risk exception, designed to prevent broader contagion to the U.S. banking system. Berkshire keeps around $128 billion in cash and treasury bills, Buffett said. We want to be there if the banking system temporarily even gets stalled in some way, it shouldn't. I don't think it will, but I think it could, he said. 
Part of the reason for that is that incentives in banking regulation are so messed up, he said. First Republic Bank, the latest regional U.S. bank to fail, disclosed that it was offering non-guaranteed jumbo-sized mortgages at fixed rates in its annual report. That's what First Republic was doing and it was in plain sight and the world ignored it until it blew up, said Buffett, who earlier noted his own father lost his job in 1931 because of a bank run. The incentives in bank regulation are so messed up and so many people have an interest in having them messed up. It's totally crazy, Buffett said. So we are very cautious in a situation like that about ownership. Buffett made the comments while sitting behind a sign that said, available for sale, while his longtime business partner, Charlie Munger, sat behind a held to maturity sign, referencing how banks account for their securities, which has been at the heart of the regional bank crisis. First Republic, which was seized by regulators and sold to JP Morgan, had significant losses in its held to maturity investment portfolio, mainly government-backed debt. Berkshire has sold some bank stocks in the past six months, after having also unloaded some when the pandemic broke out, and now only holds Bank of America, which Buffett said he is happy with. Buffett, the world's sixth richest person, said he is not personally worried about local banks. I've got my own personal money, and I'm probably above the ethnic limit, and I've got it with a local bank and I don't worry about it in the least. The US Federal Reserve declined to comment. Warren Buffett vented his frustrations about the banking industry during Berkshire Hathaway's annual meeting Saturday, blasting, messed up, incentives that allow executives to escape accountability for mistakes and poor communication to the American public about the safety of customer deposits. The FDIC and the U.S. government have no interest in having a bank fail and have deposits actually lost by people, Buffett said, adding that poor communication from politicians, agencies, and the press led to the public not appreciating this fact. The American public is probably as confused about banking as ever, he said. Buffett was ready for questions about banks posed by shareholders. When he received an inquiry on the subject during an afternoon session, he turned around two nameplates positioned in front of Buffett and his right-hand man Charlie Munger that referenced some of the recent challenges in a light-hearted way. Warren Buffett having some fun at the 2023 Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting. One nameplate was called, available for sale, and the other read, held to maturity. These are accounting classifications that many banks, including Silicon Valley Bank, have been using to house underwater securities without counting them against earnings or regulatory capital. Buffett also was ready with some strong views about bad behavior in the industry, citing incentives in bank regulation that are so messed up. Buffett has a personal connection to these problems. His father, he said, lost his job in 1931 because of a bank run. You have to have a punishment for people who did the wrong thing, he said. Buffett then discussed First Republic, the lender that was seized last Monday. JP Morgan Chase, JPM, purchased the bulk of its operations. First Republic, Buffett said, offered jumbo mortgages at low fixed rates, sometimes for terms of 10 years. Those loans became a lot less valuable when interest rates rose. A First Republic bank sign is posted at the bank's headquarters in San Francisco, Monday, May 1, 2023. That is what First Republic was doing, he said. It was in plain sight. The world ignored it until it blew up. If a CEO gets a bank in trouble, he said, the CEO and directors should suffer. When that doesn't happen it teaches the lesson that if you run a bank and screw it up, you are still a rich guy. That is not a good lesson to teach the people who are holding the economy of the world in their hands. As you may have heard, aspects of banking have expanded into the tech sector. Apple on Monday launched its Apple Card savings account with a 4.15% annual percentage yield. It requires no minimum deposit or balance, Apple said, and users can set up an account from the wallet app on their iPhones. Users must have an Apple Card in order to open the savings account. The company said in a press release that all daily cash rewards earned through the Apple Card will automatically be deposited to the savings account. Daily Cash is the Apple Card reward program that offers up to 3% back on purchases. Users can change where their daily cash is deposited at any time, and can also add funds from their bank account to build on their earnings. Apple is launching the savings account through Goldman Sachs. The national average APY on savings accounts is just 0.35%, according to the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, so Apple's 4.15% APY is high in comparison. But competing savings accounts offered by large credit unions, online banks and brick-and-mortar banks can also offer customers a significant APY. 
Citbank offers a savings account with a 4.75% APY when customers deposit a minimum balance of $5,000. Marcus by Goldman Sachs has a 3.9% APY with no minimum balance or monthly fees. Capital One's savings account has no minimum balance, and users can earn a 3.5% APY. Vio Bank offers a savings account with a 4.77% APY with no minimum balance. Apple Card savings users can manage their accounts through a dashboard that will appear in the Wallet app, where they can track their interest and their account balance or withdraw funds. The feature is rolling out inside the Apple Wallet app on iPhones now. And, Apple is now offering a credit card. But, what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.